Yeah, I wanted to go over the team a little bit. Um, and just how I've been able to acquire people throughout the year. Um, as you can see, I have quite a few chemistries up. Trent Williams was just one of the people that I kind of went out and tried to acquire early. Spent a little bit too much money on his uh, heavyweight card. But 73 speed is really, really nice. Uh, had him early in the year because I just know that he's one of the more athletic people. It's really fun to go out and see some of his old workouts when he's out moving and just being faster than halfbacks and stuff like that. Bowles was another one that I tried to go out and get a little bit early in the year. I wasn't completely sold on Rising Stars and didn't have quite as lucrative a uh, coin account. 300000 still really, really low right now, so obviously wouldn't be able to go out and splurge on things like this, um, but was up around $2 million earlier last week. Um, but yeah, I have West Coast and zone run on him with the zone run. His run blocking is really, really nice, so subbing him in for a tight end, you can just kind of go out and move anybody out of the way, Ex except if it's like an LT or something like that, sadly. But um, Steve Hutchinson, just a free card. He was better than the lineman that I had. It was better than going out and getting like a Quentin Nelson or a Osimile. They actually came out after this guy came out. Um, I had Hutchinson powered up earlier in the year, and I just decided to go away from him, um, partially because of Royer. Um, he wasn't really that great, but his pass blocking finesse was kind of keeping up with guys like Alan Page, especially since I had West Coast on him, so that was really nice. As you can see, I do have quite a few of the rising stars now, um, four on the line, working on the fifth one, but that center for the uh, Vikings is awful expensive. 18000 I think, for one of his cards, and I you need 12 or 11, so that's just too much right now. Um, at center, have Dawson. I've had him for quite a while. At the time, he was better than all the rest of the centers, and then Bruce Matthews, I think, came out right after that, so that was pretty annoying that a better center came out right after I had gotten mine, but it's the way it works out in this game most of the time. Yeah, he keeps dropping things like tight ends, like I was thinking about selling Hunter Henry to get Shannon Sharp, which I'm happy I didn't go out and do, but um, they dropped two tight ends, so I'm sure his price just bottomed out today. Um, like I said, I was going for Elfin, have been able to acquire just one at this time. Um, every once in a while you can get him for snipes for around 14 10,000, something like that, but it's usually around 18,000 right now, especially since nothing else is coming out for them. Um, as you can see, notifications, probably not very many are coming out because I haven't been that active, but just been kind of flipping snow for some coins. Um, still, the really low-level ones are really, really lucrative. You can go in and acquire them for 10 snow, um, for out-of-position, out-of-position Ironman, um, or I can't remember the last one. Um, but yeah, each of them sell, or you can melt snow for 10 and get them and usually sell them for 18,000. I think it maybe was lower around 14, 16,000. But when you're buying things for under um, one snow for 10 coins and you're making around 16 coins per snow, one snow back, it's really nice way to just kind of slowly accumulate money throughout the days. As of right now, you can't really get the larger ones and make as much money and you can potentially lose a lot. Um, try to do a couple things that a few people were talking about. Um, I would like to watch Gut Fox's stream and he and a few other people were talking about how you could go through and buy some of the 89 to 91s and then flip those and almost always make a profit. And That was kind of neat to look at that. Um, but looking at Sheriff, he just has unbelievable um, run stats and I have secure pass blocker on him. I would like to get someone maybe a little bit better with the pass blocking so I don't have to worry about that as much. Um, so I can put something else there and just sub him in eye formations and things like that. But as of right now, he's doing a good job and just try to get the ball out a little bit quicker so I don't have to worry about it because I have secure pass blocker on three people. So. If I can get it out quicker, usually the first move doesn't work, so that's really nice. And have another rising star here. Um, going out to the right side um, 
Oh, and acquired Sheriff around the time the Mud Heroes, Heroes were coming out. I think I had him and then sold him when he was getting a little bit higher so I can make some coins back. And then went out and acquired him when he kind of bottomed out. It's harder with no money spent teams because you aren't getting a lot of coins like right as a lot of cards are coming out. So you sometimes have to wait a little bit. But that can be okay too and it's fun to play with players that aren't necessarily the best but players that you like a little bit longer and then go out getting the great players like Elaine Johnson that didn't necessarily want but just looking at it, his stats it's just unbelievable with how fast he is he's probably going to be my right tackle for the rest of the year I, I have invested a lot into him he's got really good traits he's unbelievably fast he has the 99 um, pass block finesse which is great and his then run block power isn't well I guess it's up one because I have the Madden uh, passing chem so that's at 97 but yeah I have Brandon Shell out there as well just have him strictly for chems he's probably not ever going to play especially with bowls being a backup that can run block really well um, looking at the tight ends Delaney Walker I'd like a tight end that's multifunctional, he can do absolutely everything. He's got good chemistries on top of that. It would be nice if I could put sprint on, Sprinter on him so he could be a little bit faster. But yeah, just waiting a little bit to acquire his next best card as well. Because what I have right now is working perfectly. Um, Hunter Henry is kind of my just strictly run blocking person. He's really great at that. Um, I don't really think there's a player that's better, to be perfectly honest, at run blocking the way that he does at the tight end position. I can move Devlin out there or Franco Harris and be a little bit quicker and still run block well, but he's really great on it, and you just don't see people just slipping those blocks and getting around him. And Kittle play out as a tight end slash wide receiver. Um, like I said, guys who can do lots of things. Hunter Henry can go up and get those high point passes, which still working on. I have now played against enough people and lost to enough people who are good at that that I know that I need to go out and figure out how to do that a little bit better. Um, Julio Jones, really, really great asset. He's good at everything. He can go over the middle. Um, a lot of people have been talking about how he cannot spin, so he's not going to be a long-term fit, but... I don't see him going anywhere on my team. At the worst, he'll probably be wide receiver three. Spectacular catch at 99 already. It's just unreal. And with the 95 speed, it's really, really great. Um, Dion's out there to go out and get that deep pass. And also run drags, because as soon as he gets the ball, he is, has a really good chance of going. His carrying at 66 really scary, because if you get hit in the wrong situation it's not great he is one of my kick returners as well I never really liked playing the other Dion out there because he has to play defense so he's usually a little bit tired so things don't usually go the best if he is a little bit tired because he doesn't have as high carrying either but with that 98 looseness ball carrier vision which I don't know if it necessarily matters because I'm controlling him all the time 99 juke move 93 spin you just can't really get a guy that's better at kick returning. And he's that good with the ball in his hand when he passed to him as well. But yeah, he was down 100,000 coins. 95 speed wide receiver for 100,000 coins is just absolutely remarkable. Haven't put Sprinter on him yet. Probably not going to. Need to double check and see if I even can, to be perfectly honest. Um, but yeah, he's fast enough and does exactly what I need him to do and probably not going to be a long-term fit. Uh, Randy Moss, just waiting for his next update on Tuesday. Um, probably going to have to move some things around so I can get enough training for that because I have Pat Pete as well who needs an upgrade. I think Randy will cost 24000 training, which is a lot, um, but definitely worth it because I think he's probably going to be an end game like uh, Lane Johnson's an end game player for me and if Ricky keeps going up I don't need to go out and require the best running back in the game but I might go out and do that as well because Barry <laughs> is right there with the best running back has to be the best running back right now and probably for the next month so it's just where I kind of want to put my money at this point because Ricky can do everything with 95 speed he can do everything I want to do and he can run over anybody make people miss um, but yeah, Barry looks really great right now, even with the next power-up. 
I don't have the Madden chemistry that allows him to be one faster. I just have the Sprinter on him, so he'll be one faster, and then his power-ups can make him great. I uh, got Cohen almost... I think he might have been the first rising star that I actually acquired because he could actually go out and play as well. That 90 speed at the time, he was really good. He was actually my third down back for a long time. I think maybe till Barry came out, maybe even after Barry came out because I was just going with his power up and with the two chemistries that Cohen had. He was pretty dang good. Um... Really love that I have a 99 overall player on my team at quarterback. Makes it even more remarkable. 99 throw power is unbelievable. Him being left-handed makes it really difficult for me. Haven't been able to quite figure that out yet. I have had a right-handed quarterback since I acquired my first Madden game, so it's really difficult <laughs> to try to just move around in the pocket and go to the right side. Uh, Patrick Mahomes is a lot of fun to play with and solo battles and things like that. Well, I should be practicing with my left-handed quarterback, but... Um, solo battles and things like that, Mahomes is wonderful. Um, you can just get rid of the ball a little bit quicker. The defense doesn't have that opportunity to cheat and get through. Um, both my quarterbacks, I think at this point, have 99 throw power. I haven't looked at Mahomes for a second. But yeah, both 99 throw power. Just being able to whip the ball down the field like that is unreal. Um, both had all the chemistries, or excuse me, um, Limits for passing for mid, deep, and short that you need to. Just Vic has the speed, which... Instead of getting four yards, you can get 20, or if you want to be gutsy and go for a spin, you can potentially get the touchdown. So Vic's just where it needs to be right now. Um, plus, I have quite a bit invested in him. Um, thankfully, it was a little bit cheaper to get his last card, and I waited quite a while to get his official power-up. But as you saw, the conductor, that was, I think, my first red chem after Antonio Brown's playmaker. Um, but yeah. Those two things have helped out considerably, just making all the different adjustments at the line and not having to wait until the clock gets down to one to be able to snap the ball because you're making your third adjustment is taking forever. That is the huge downfall with Mahomes because he doesn't have that awareness up there to get that chem. Um, Devlin is just like another lineman. He's huge. He's a little bit slow. Um, I looked at getting use check, but... I don't think he's that much better than what I have right now. So I didn't want to completely ditch out on what I had because I have a lot invest or enough invested in them to not want to just dump and go, and I couldn't have made enough coins back to make it worth it, especially with Franco being the backup if I want to run a pitch with Barry, especially when I get him up to the next speed Barry. It'll be nice to have an 89 speed, 85 plus speed guy out there, so I might have to think about that again. But Franco can do that a lot of the time. 86 lead blocking is nice. His run blocking isn't great, which makes me reconsider putting him at tight end position as often as I probably do. Um, but just having both those people are really, really nice because um, Franco's actually my third down back, so he plays enough to make him worth a spot on the team, and Devlin can make all those really nasty blocks that you need. Um, Excited to get the Madden chemistry so I can have a 99 speed person in Tyreek Hill. He's really, really fast <laughs> right now. And one speed more is just going to make him unreal. Um, I went out and got the team of the week. And the Blitz player is about as quickly as I could. I think I got him a, mostly like free, but not free. Like the time cost issue with that, but... It was still worth the time to be able to get him and not have to spend any money. Um, but yeah, last person down is Antonio Brown. Him getting a little bit better speed will make him almost worthwhile, but his catching stats right now are unreal, so if I were to invest in the next one, a lot of those things would be really close to 99. His catching probably would be. He can just make those plays over the middle that a lot of people can't and take that hit and still keep the ball. But he I don't know. It'll be nice to have one person maybe a little bit slower, because everyone else will be 95 plus as soon as I get Randy upgraded a little bit more. Um, defense is where I have invested more of my money. Thankfully, the offense has kind of caught up to that, so I'm able to score a few points, but not nearly as much as I should, especially in head-to-head. -head. Um, 
Having the Redskins pass D helps out considerably with a lot of these guys. Paul Krause has the 91 man. 99 zone, so that is absolutely awesome that he's up that high. And he does have the lockdown on him as well, so that is quite a bit of things invested just to get him to that point. But now that he's that point, he can do pretty much anything I need him to do in coverage-wise. And if I need someone to do something at the line of scrimmage, I can bring in Sean Taylor. And like I was talking about earlier, he kind of plays where Zach Brown used to play because he's just faster, better against pass coverage in pretty much all respects, and not quite as good as Zach Brown at getting people out of the way, but can run around people and still tackle he needs to. Lawrence Taylor has been the key asset on my team for a really long time, um, ever since the harvest. I need to look at his card one more time. But yeah, ever since Harvest, he's been the best player on my team and the best player on a lot of people's teams. Mike Vick's probably close. Once I learn how to use him a little bit better with a left-handed, I think he'll be right there. Mike Vick's trajectory is a little bit too low for me as well, sadly. But um, yeah, here was Jadavian Clowney. Um, 87 speed, awful fast. Got the power moves. Has everything that you really need a linebacker. He can be a little bit quicker, but he's so good against the run and fast enough. He can do all of those things and chase down the quarterbacks we need to. Some Vicks are starting to get up there to 96 speed, something like that, so that's going to be difficult to chase down, but he can at least stay in front of him. Shazier, 92 speed. That's just nasty. That sprinter makes him look so good. 91 zone coverage. I don't know, still the best linebacker, I think, in the game. Hopefully we get his upgrades soon, maybe in February. That's still a ways to wait, but oh well. Uh, Ray Lewis, the unicorn. Wish he was a little bit faster, but those stats look good. Then Zach Brown, who rarely plays, but has a few Redskins things on him. Zone coverage gets boosted up a little bit. And we need to think about putting a different chemistry on him if he's going to go back and play again. Have Ruben Foster. Thought about getting rid of Ruben Foster. He has the chemistry. He's probably going to get rid of him soon once I get a rising star to replace him. But those prices will probably have to go down a little bit. Von Miller is awful fast. Fast rushers that I have now should be able to get the quarterback just about all the time, even with the... Upgrades to offensive linemen. I'm really, really happy with how they're starting to look. And then Kerrigan, he has 99 power move at 79 speed. At linebacker position, doesn't play as much as I'd like. I think I just need to get more of like a theme team so I can play with him like during solos and not play with the players that I play with all of the time. Um, just keeping Ed Reed. I've invested in a couple of um, people who have a considerable amount of snow. Uh, I thought snow was going to go up a little bit, but nothing has come out that would kind of increase it. It's just kind of slowly been on the decline. So don't know really when I'm going to cash out on that. Maybe just wait till training. Uh, those players um, have their snow switched to training, which should be two and a half times what it is now. That'll be a lot of training, but I think all the rest of the players that are worth about the same amount will go down as well. So I don't know what the best thing to do is with them. Probably just slowly turn them into um, players that can be melted with 10 snow. We have Amos here at 93 speed, 98 zone coverage. So both my safeties have similar stats in those regards of man and zone. They're awful fast. I wish Krause was a little bit faster. I kind of thought he would get an upgrade sometime soon, but we did get him a little bit later in the year than the other guys that have been getting upgrades. Excuse me. <coughs> yeah, hopefully soon. And then Derwin's my second strong safety. Just pretty much plays on special teams. So that's really nice to have him there for that. But his height really doesn't help him as much there as it used to when he was playing in pass coverage. Dion, ever since I got him, is locked down one side of the field. Once I get that Madden chemistry, his speed will be remarkable. 
Just need to kind of grind and get a few more trophies so I can just add those to the men's. That'll be awful nice. I was hoping that he would get an upgrade before now, but he has not. Um, recently acquired him around the time that Xavier Rhodes came out because his price kind of dipped and it kind of was low at that point. I think other people are starting to think that he should have another card since most of the Team Diamonds now have a car and that's they're just kind of, they're not rushing, but they're definitely pushing those cars that don't have one, getting them to have an upgrade out. 98 man coverage on him is just gorgeous. And then, yeah, you can see Champ there as well, but yeah, 93 speed. Just a little bit slower than the guys that I have starting out there. I'm going to look at the other side. Champ with Sprinter looks great, and... I uh, don't have to put lockdown on him because of the Redskins past chems. So I think I've run stuff on him, which would make the most sense. So yeah, those are boosted a little bit. Have Fabian Moreau out there. He is doing everything that I need to. He's blocking a couple kicks and doing more or less everything you need a fourth or fifth cornerback to do. I need to put him probably back in that fourth spot. I'm going to do that right now. Yeah, with those chemistries, especially with uh, Ramsey now, it's really nice. Everything's maxed out on defense that I want at this time. Getting another 30, I think, would be almost impossible. But maybe later in the year when everyone has double cams, but then you have to start taking Sprinter off people. Bruce Smith with uh, Redskins Pass D gets him way up there as well. Actually don't need his next upgrade to get 99 power move and 99 finesse. Can play him on more of the inside nickel and dime places so that is wonderful because he really gets off the line quicker and better than most every defensive lineman that I have except for the guy that I pointed out a couple times and get to here in a minute Jonathan Allen just a nice rookie he used to be able to he's had that 99 or excuse me 96 pass rush for quite some time so he's been able to get after the quarterback really well also before I had guys like this Jerome Payne Got him when he dipped to 250. He's gotten below that a couple of days, but the time that I've had him, and considering he's probably the best defensive tackle, at least to stop in the run that I have right now, it's a really good fit. Um, have out the way and pass rush on him so I can play him on passing downs a little bit more. He's starting to get a little bit slower. Um, have John Randall as the one gauntlet player that I have left. I took him as my NAT. With a 99 finesse move and 80 speed, he's really remarkable. I actually haven't seen him a lot show up, but I'm just hoping that he's more or less picking up the double teams. Sue, I had his upgrade earlier this week, I think twice. Just didn't add it in. I like playing with Payne right now. I think Sue's price is actually going to go up considerably after his training is changed and after people quit opening his card out of those packs, because even though it came out two or three days ago, um, people are still opening, getting on their consoles now, so it's still opening that guy. So having a free one definitely lowers the market for him. So if you really need a suit, go out and get him now for sure because his price is probably going to go up because the uh, amount of him available is going to go down. I'm not sure if they come out of packs, so might need to think about that. And then the person that has really lowered my coin stack and I've acquired recently and using extra training when training even is getting closer back to 37 um, when it was around 30 I should have picked up more then but yeah have a defensive end that's at 90 speed 98 power move at this point is really great he's better than every defensive lineman I have and close to where Lawrence Taylor is especially since he has the opportunity to play defensive tackle in nickel and dime sets He's just faster than those linemen, so if he can just get a step on him, he can get in there. And his moves are fantastic. I need to check his traits and see if he has a finesse move, because if he just went to his bull rush every time, he'd be even better. Um, black shedding, 93. Couldn't really ask for anything better, so not really a sigh. And I have out the way, so he can definitely get in on the run also. And Graham, want to get rid of pretty soon, but he has those double chems, so that makes him a little bit more valuable, and he's Nat, so 
Can't get as much back from him. Kind of splurged and got a puncher and a kicker that were better than what I needed, but it's nice to have that. Also, I was a little bit worried about my overall. Not worried, but wanting to get it up quicker than I needed to. So that happened a little while back when I was at like 94 and a half. Now it's a solid 95 because the offense and defense is kind of filled in a little bit better. But yeah, I really like running my running backs back here, even though Dion's so explosive. Just not having those extra fumbles is really remarkable. Um, Barry Sanders and Franco play um, for shotgun, and they do everything that I need them to do. Franco's really good at pass blocking, so he's a really good fit there. Uh, Ricky Williams, couldn't ask for more, especially since he is actually free just with the time that you spend in the game. You don't have to do anything particular. It just accumulates as you win games. Uh, Julio Jones and Kittle as my slot wide receivers both have really good run blocking, so able to get halfway to the outside before I have any issues with Tyreek Hill and Randy Moss not blocking anybody. Um, these two guys playing together are really good in the linebacker backfield. I almost play like a 5-2, but it's a 3-4, and just kind of blitz my outside linebackers a lot of the time, and then every once in a while I'll try to surprise people and have them do quarterback spies or put them in a shallow zone taylor can even get back in deep zone and i can do some a little bit more crazy things with mac now but just being able to have those two take care of pretty much everything behind them is great ray could be a little bit faster to be able to do that job but he takes care of everything in the middle because of how big and strong he is and that's kind of how he acted in real life but he had those big tonys in front of him <coughs> excuse me that were able to, uh, was it Tony Saragusa? Uh, he just kept every blocker off him, probably possible. At least center and guards, anyway. Uh, yeah, had Mack and Randall, had the 99 stats, or excuse me, 98 for Khalil Mack, had Bruce Smith there, had the 99 for both, sub him in quite a bit. Um, but yeah, having Clowney and Taylor on the outside with her out the way is really great because it's really difficult to run the ball right now. I'm having issues with those passes on the corners, figuring a few things out, but I'm still able to get a few too many yards and score a few too many points more than I am. At least in head-to-head -head solos are fine. Um, yeah, and then Champ and Ramsey back there. Excuse me, in there at the slots. Um, usually just match up based on speed, so it's not that bad. Coach Men have two passing offense and one passing D. Um, those are the things I struggle with most, so trying to get a little bit of boost there and was able to get the Mike Vick up to 99. That was kind of preemptive, but it worked out really well that way. Um, yeah, that's the team. Um, maybe get some different visuals, go with something a little bit better, um, at least for jerseys anyway. Um, maybe an Andy Reid at the head coach. As he coaches the way that I do, makes the playoffs and cannot win once I get there, sadly. Um, yeah, West Coast maxed out, go deep maxed out for offense, zone run as well, so that extra run blocking is really, really nice. Go deep, more or less for my quarterbacks to get them to 99 throw power. <clears throat> West Coast, good for the extra catching and pass block finesse. That's really actually great getting uh, Lane Johnson up to the 99 that I think he is right now and then Chase is actually at like a 96 for Rising Star so that's pretty great that I'm able to do that with a guy who wasn't all that great to start off with 97 excuse me so yeah that's even better um, for defense have the three out of four that you could have run stuff pass rush and lockdown Lockdown on my cornerbacks and safeties and linebackers that I have in pass, except for Champ and Dion, because now I can have them and run stuff because their levels are high enough that I don't feel they need them. Uh, Champ was actually at 99 man and zone when I had lockdown on him before this came up. So he's really been one of the better cornerbacks I've had all year. He was under 90 speed because I just recently added Sprinter all, to all these guys, which is killed the coin stack as well but that is okay because we have everyone that we really want and need at this point in time just they keep dropping those new nice cards all the time that look all fancy and stuff gotta go on and get a couple um run stuff on the guys up the middle 
Um, if the guys I know are probably just going to be in on passing, probably put pass rush on them. And if I can get out my way on them, I need to put out the way. Actually, I don't know if he can because I don't think he's good enough against the run. Yeah, that would be the one thing that I would want to power him up for because he could get out the way then. Because he's only at 89 and he needs 90 um, block shedding. But yeah, just got the 30 players, maybe 32 for Sprinter. Two. Um, was hanging around 10 for a long time with Shazier, Ricky, and Ray, and just a couple of Tyreek was the other guy. Um, with also Dion, because yeah, just having those guys sprinter speed added to that just makes them unreal. Um, passing D, have 16 Redskins that kind of bump that up a little bit. Um, Passing D is nice. Um, two catching, two finesse move, two power move, two man, two zone, two play recognition to everyone that's red skin on the defense. Is allowed me to do a few extra things. Um, identified on my center um, just allows you to kind of understand where they're moving and what players they're moving at what time. If you're paying attention, you can probably see that, but it's nice to be able to just take a quick glance up and see what they're doing. Um, a few people are able to bait you in that way because they figure out that you have that identified and Calvin Johnson is great at jumping back and getting a couple of verts away from you. Um, secure pass blocker on three of my guys, right guard, left tackle, right tackle. Hutchinson's not going to be around that long and I don't like to use extra things if I don't think I necessarily need them so I haven't added anything to him that I don't need. Um, out my way on a lot of people. Um, just being able to stop that defender that's coming right at you and be able to stop that running back for little to no yards is one of the best feelings. <laughs> um, especially when it's a short yardage fourth and one and they've been going for fourths all game and you finally get them stopped. Um, but yeah, that's a team. Have a few extra Steelers, I guess, as well. But yeah, I think that's what we have today.